Members and staff of the Rural Electrification Agency, management of the Alex Ekweme Federal University in Dufalike, are here to witness something novel. It's the commissioning of the solar hybrid power plant at the institution. Uh, His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the vice president and their boy state governor make their way into the hall for the commencement of the day's event. and will reduce the carbon. The managing director and chief executive officer of REA talks about the project and its deliverables. The solar hybrid project being commissioned today has a total install capacity of 2.8 megawatts and will reduce the carbon emissions and um, dioxide savings of almost 8 million tons. As the first out of the 37 federal universities to benefit from the energizing education program, the vice chancellor is most grateful that the days of epileptic power supply will soon be a thing of the past. For a university which, as of February 2016, was not really connected to the national grid of public electricity supply, and ran almost 100% on generators and fossil fuels. That is indeed something for which we have to be proud of our government and our country. For the Aboy State Governor, his administration is committed to partnering the federal government to ensure that the state institutions benefit from the program. We like to partner with the federal government to expand this project so that the Co College of Education can also benefit. There is optimism from the federal government that this project will provide students with a better chance at concentrating properly. It's increased access to modern quality education by providing adequate power supply to critical learning resources such as science laboratories, design and technology workshops and information technology resources. 20 students were selected and trained in the maintenance of the project, an indication that the federal government is thinking beyond lighting up rooms but lives.